our viewers, yes, we are glad that you have joined us this lovely evening. Yes, this is Kako's Week Show, and this is where we write down our love when well, we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to, to be read when we are gone. Yes, and you know how we do it every Friday at 9.45 p.m. East African time. We gather here and we come to talk about issues concerning marriages. I bring you different couples who come to share with us their love journey and they encourage you even as you continue working on your marriage. And tonight, I can assure you that we are going to have a wonderful night and your expectations shall not be cut short because I am having a lovely couple. You will love them. They have such a nice love story. And... They have been mad for the last 28 good years. Where were you? 28 years ago, where were you? They have been married for 28 years. And so I believe there is something we can learn from them. And so I am hosting the Ngures. And they are coming to us from Deliverance Church International, Kimbo Matangi. They are the senior pastors, Reverend Stanley and Pastor Nancy Ngure. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Good to have you here. Good to have us here too. I've been, I've been having a desire to have you here. Yes. And finally, the day is here. Yes. So, asante ni sana. Yes. Kindly, you can introduce yourself to our viewers. Yeah, one, I want to thank you, Kenyash, for having us in this program. We don't take it for granted that you called us because, and I believe we are going to add value to the viewers mm -hmm. that are watching this wonderful program yes. uh, and the burden that you have for the couples. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Leverage Stan Ngure, and my wife is uh, Pastor Nancy Ngure. We minister with the my church, Veta, which is located in Kimbo Huiro. And uh, by the grace of God, we have been there for about 15 years. Wow. We have seen the grace of God. Yeah. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome our viewers who could be close to that area, mm. to our services. Yes. Thank you. You meet every Sunday from what time? We meet every su Sunday from 8 mm. to 10, and then the second service from 10 to 12.30. Wow. Thank you. So if you're around Matangi, kindly, you can pay them a visit, Deliverance Church. It is just after the railway uh, crossing. It is, you will find it just on the way. You will find it. You can't miss it. It's a big church. Uh, and so, I mean, you can't miss it. Let's hear Mama, how she talks. Mam Karebu Sana. Asante. My name is Anna Singure. And we've been married for 28 years. We have four children. Uh, our firstborn is married. Uh -huh. uh, now we are show show. Oh, wow, and, lovely. Yes, and we are all serving God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Yes. Mom, yes. how does it feel to be married for 28 years? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good, and ex especially when you're, you're married with somebody that you love and uh, you, you respect. Uh -huh. It feels good. You know, marriage is a journey. Yeah. And every day you you enjoy the journey. Yes. And especially when you love one another. Yeah. Yes, it has been good. Wow. And the Lord has been gracious to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank God. Yes. Now there's this question. Every time I ask this question to couples, mm -hmm. I always get different answers. Now let me hear from you now. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys meet? Let's hear from him and then we come to mama. <laughs> I find couples giving different <laughs> answers. Uh, Where? Uh, by the grace of God, when I got saved, I joined the my church is Lee, uh -huh. where our spiritual father used to minister to us, Bishop William Trumisi. <laughs> and uh, when I got saved, I started ministry in various places. <laughs> and finally, I landed to the choir ministry, the mm -hmm. music ministry uh -huh. of the church. Yeah where she was actually ahead of me there. <laughs> so if I were to say where we met, <laughs> that is where we met. So for you, you know, you met at church. Yes. 
Let's hear. <laughs> Let's hear from her. Yes. Uh, yes, we used to minister with Deliverance Church Explosion Choir. Mm-hmm. That's where we met. Uh, yeah, before he used to 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 serve in a hospital visitation. Uh, so he used to come home with my mother. My, she, he used to uh, serve with my mother. So you're talking about your biological mom? Yes, we uh-huh. used to serve together. And uh, he used to come home once in a while uh, to give report. And uh, he used to cook them tea, not knowing uh, what will happen thereafter. So <laughs> we meet home, then he comes to church. Uh, then he joined us, uh-huh. and that's in the choir, expression <laughs> choir. Mm-hmm. So that's when uh, there was one time uh, uh, my father mm-hmm. was sick, mm-hmm. and uh, he uh, he joined me to visit him in the hospital, mm-hmm. and we went together. And then after uh, we 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 went. He told me to go to Uhuru Park, we take a photo mm-hmm. with him. <laughs> uh-huh. Then after we took KBS, that's when the news break and he told me I love you when we were writing from oh. the bus. Oh. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now we the rest is yeah, history. <laughs> Now, now you see, now you see. Yes, For yes. you, you know, you met uh, in church. Yes. For her. Yes. <laughs> details. Yes, there are some details. Yes. You know, women normally have yes. details. Yes. Wow. So, you, that time in that BS, that was the first time you, you were able to show her interest. Yes, but of course. As a young man, uh, when it came a time that I want to get married. And by the way, both of you by then, you were born again. Yes, yes we were born yes, again. Yes, we so, we were born again. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, we, I have to look around, watch and pray. Uh, of course, maybe the prayers also, so that really your heart can be able to settle yeah. in the one that you can do life together. Mm. And uh, I think even by the time I was taking her and uh, I was going to, because the dad had uh, been admitted in Nazareth Hospital, mm-hmm. the banana one, mm-hmm. uh, it was a way that I just went sometimes with him. Mm-hmm. And uh, later on, actually, we went, uh, we were taking some photos at Uhuru Park. Mm-hmm. I still remember the pullover which I wore that, that day, mm-hmm. and we still have that photo. Wow. And then by the time we were reaching it, KBS is Kenya Bus Service. Yes. The people who are currently, they do not know there was uh, yes. the new loafers. Yes. <laughs> so Kenya Bus Service stage at uh, Abazida. Mm-hmm. That's when I told her, you know me, I love you. How, how did it happen? How? Yes, how did it happen? Or you just... Yes, I, I told her because I did not want... Uh, to waste more time because I thought if I waste more time, man, <laughs> someone it's, else might. It's, it's good I communicate my intentions and I communicate very intentionally and openly. Uh-huh. Yes, mom, how did you respond when he said I love you? You know you have seen this guy who have been coming to visit home. You've been serving in church. Now he's here. You're going to see your dad and he's saying I love you. How did you respond? Um. I, I told him I love you too. Hey. And then, then he went and uh, we met another day. Now we started now from where we stopped. <laughs> uh, we we had gone for a Kesha. Yeah. Then after Kesha, he went by me tea. And uh, the things started <laughs> working. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. So how, how was it? It was so good. when we went for the tea, mm-hmm. uh-huh. we took tea uh, with another sister called Betty. Oh, uh, so you're not just the two of you? No, we were the three of us. Still uh, uh, yes. I hope young people you are listening, mm-hmm. yes. they are not going alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is another person, there is a witness. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know the Bible says that we are, we are 
surrounded by a witch, a crowd of witnesses. So we need to. Yeah. So young people, listen and uh, also remember. Have you noted that they are coming from Kesha? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So he was going to work, and uh, and, uh, and also we were with that sister. We went also to work, and that was. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what kind of conversation did you had uh, when you were having this tea? Mm, that time when uh, you know we are saved and we are properly saved. Mm -hmm. uh, See, I'm only serious because I got, I got saved when I was around 21 years. Wow! And I think I had been tired of the ugly life, <laughs> worldly life, not ugly life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when we got saved, we got saved properly, mm -hmm. and uh, that is why the checks and balances to ensure that you don't enter into problem and time to see and that is why you need that accompaniment and being serious with the things of God yeah. you, you, you are fully occupied mm. uh, in the things of God because idleness mm. has really destroyed our youth mm. and especially idleness hidden on phone and all that and mm. internet mm. and you find you go into one stage to the other one stage to the other and people are, be, are being spoiled because of mm. such kind of things mm. yeah uh -huh. So um, now you have said I love you. What transpired next? Maybe it's good to say why I said I love you <laughs> and I do not want to continue. <laughs> because I see it's like you can see there is something that we are not telling you. <laughs> uh, I had an experience asking another girl still in the choir and uh, she rejected me in a very bad way. Uh, uh, she wrote a two page letter. Two oh. page letter and telling me now I'm not uh, of uh, her type. Type. Oh. So this time around, and you I wanted to be sure. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to be sure, and I wanted before to go you screw you up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I wanted to go slow. Yes. So that I also don't want to get another heartbreak. Mm. So this is why I'm saying I love you, mm -hmm. and then I let it sink as we move. As, as I give her time also to ponder it around. So that by the time I tell her, my love is not just uh, the way we say in the church. Mm -hmm. It's further than that. I would like to do life together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So that's why, and I can see you can see there is something that. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. So uh, after that, now, uh, at what point did it now? You, you invoke the parents, or you went to introduce her to parents. You went to introduce him to parents. Yeah. It took how long? Um, maybe she can start. Okay, it took almost um, three to four months uh, because uh, we used also to meet in the choir practice. Yeah. So we could talk with the, the other guys. Then uh, uh, it took four months. Then he. He asked me where, whether I still remember what he told me, <laughs> uh, and I said yes. Of course, I remember. Uh, we, we took to tea together again, <laughs> uh, and uh, now in town. Now the two of us. Now the two of us. Ah, uh -huh. And then he told me to go and report it to uh, our parents, <laughs> and then we started the journey. How did the parents respond? Uh, be, uh, that time already, uh, uh, he had known, uh, uh, my mother had known him. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, and uh, somehow he loved him. Uh -huh. uh, she loved him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, so it was not uh, who is. It was not complicated. It was not complicated. Because how you tired and you come and you come and you and you come and you come and you come and then we we got married. <laughs> that was a journey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, mekubalika. Queen. Yes. Rev, mm -hmm. when you took her to your place, mm -hmm. uh, how did the parents react? 
Um, I think also my parents were looking forward for my settlement. And uh, of course, I had gone ahead and told her, I uh, told them the kind of a girl I'm bringing. So it's good to go and talk a little bit and prepare them. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think also as you report, mm -hmm. you don't need to be, look like you're in the middle of ground. Yeah. Like you are still thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, so as I was reporting, mm -hmm. it was a convincing message mm -hmm. that I found the one to do life with. Yeah. I found the one to marry. Mm -hmm. So by the time I was taking, mm -hmm. they know I'm convinced yeah. uh, that that is a person. Uh -huh. Uh, so, I took her, I come from Moral County, and uh, my mom and the other, my dad then was alive. They accepted her. Wow. Yes. Okay. And then now, of course, now you started the process. The process. The, the process. dowry, yes. the wedding. Yes. How was the process, uh, dowry process? Uh, dowry to me, uh, I thank God that I'm alive very, very understanding uh, in laws. And currently, our mother, in, uh, my mother, who is my mother in law, is still alive. Very understanding, very, and that is something I would like to request the parents, especially the girl parents, so that they don't take or push or stretch uh, the young man. Mm -hmm. um, by then, I had actually just joined the bank. I was. I had just been employed in KCB. Mm -hmm. So, you know the salary of somebody who has just been employed. Yeah. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so you, you find uh, if you have an understanding uh, parent, mm -hmm. they are able to know you are not that strong. Mm -hmm. So, I cannot say I was harassed at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, I feel much indebted mm -hmm. to that family, mm -hmm. even now. Mm -hmm. And whatever they are able to do, I participate. Mm -hmm. In everything that they do, I normally participate. Because mm -hmm. I feel much indebted because they give me the work. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So to me, it's for the parents, you, you cannot sell a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot sell your daughter. Mm -hmm. And it is good to sober up when, in those negotiations because especially when you come from our tribe, Kikuyu tribe, yes. and they <coughs> look like they are, you are selling a girl. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if you begin with the wrong footing, and I've seen it, mm -hmm. if you begin in the wrong footing in the times of dowry, mm -hmm. that marriage may not have the right foundation. Yeah. Because there are words that will be exchanged, mm -hmm. which may bring problems to these children. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. Yeah. You may get the money, mm -hmm. but you are destroying mm -hmm. the, 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 the foundations mm -hmm. of your children. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And, and with that, mom, I want you to speak to parents who are watching us. Yeah. Uh, because I have had many young people, especially what mm -hmm. you know, it is very sad, Rev, eh? mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they are afraid to go to the house, and they are afraid to go to the house, they are afraid to go to the house, they are afraid to go to the house, they are afraid to go to the sababu they are afraid to go Wedding ya kanisa mm. hakuna mtu aliwasumbua mm. so why should i stay here ni sumbuliwe for nothing mm. and so mom nataka uongeleshe wazazi ambao wanatuangalia when it comes to the issue kijana ameamua kutembea kwa njia ya mwangaza mm. ameamua to respect because for me that is even respect yes. you know walking mm -hmm. your girl walking your man mm -hmm. down the aisle mm -hmm. in church unampeleka kwa madhabahu mm -hmm. akaombewe ndoa yao ibarikiwe mm -hmm. it is such a an honor and respect and mm -hmm. so Kindly talk to parents who are watching us. Okay. Uh, personally, my, my mom, the end of the Kamwambia, the Pataki Jana, na Hana Pesayingi, a man liquor two Kazi. So I talked to my mother and a uh, Kanyambia, Hata was Sumbua. So my mother was there when they were negotiating. Uh, akamwa, akasema, Uki Jana say, I'm a Pata two Kazi, Juzi Koivo. The side of the girl, in Vizuri Pia, um, Stiana and Atatea Kijanawake, because mm. Babu and Ajua Akileta Mariote, Stiana and you attend up to Sumbuka. Yeah, eh, Akiole Wata Watasumbuka, because mm. Babu Sasa Pesazote, the Miletwa, for Azazi. Mm. 
kama amechukua role ama amechukua role tutakuwa kili mtakuwa mkilipa nyoto wawili kwa hivyo at the end of the day msichana wako ndio anasafa and again kuna ile muli mulitisha mali yote kwa hivyo uh, so we have nothing and um at after you've gotten married unakuta hata kijana hapo hata hana uhusiano hana uhusiano mm. kama sasa my husband anaweza enda hata kama siko unakuta wanaongea vizuri mm. kwa sababu hata saa hii bado tuna tunasaidia wazazi mm. lakini kwa kama wako na uhusiano mzuri wako na uhusiano na hiyo uhusiano ni kwa sababu alitreatiwa vizuri yes. wakati alienda mara ya kwanza yes wow so angeongelesha wazazi wasirukie kijana sana ama waone ni kama wanauza msichana um, wake bado ni uhusiano mmeanza mm. na hiyo uhusiano ita itawasaidia ita uh, nene mnapo wanapoendelea mm. so haitakuwa mvutano nilikosea wana wazazi walisema hivi na hivi mm. and na many marriages zina break kwa sababu ya hiyo uh, mvutano wa siku ya kwanza Kwe. so ni vizuri mnasikilizana vizuri kijana mm. kama ako, hana kazi kubwa wacha akuje tu vile yuko mm. e, so mwangalia wow asante sana you want to add something on that yeah. especially kwa sababu in central yes. kuongea kwa imekuwa ni kama ni biashara yes. unapata kijana anaitishwa pesa anashindwa sasa hii pesa nitatoa yeah. wapi and then the kinyasha as you say <laughs> is um, some people who could be they don't know even how that girl was educated mm. uh, they they don't know and some of the people actually may be coming there to frustrate yeah that that process mm. they did, they don't have the burden of the girl mm. but they just want to raise issues to make it difficult mm. they were never involved in bring up this girl at all yeah. mm. the the aunties and what have you yes so I, i think to me we need the wisdom and particularly also to my tribe i was saying uh, it's important to know that culture grows mm-hmm. according to times mm-hmm. uh, and culture develop mm-hmm. uh, uh, according to time mm-hmm. and at a certain time we start also looking at the middle ground yeah. between the old and the new mm. and where we can get a middle ground yeah. also to agree on some issues mm. yes wow that is true yes. and so please when when these young people come to us as parents what are what need to 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 watch to get stress let us not stress them let them feel free mm. receive what they have and just bless them and mm. let them go start uh, to do life together So it's been 28 years. Yes, this will be 28. Wow. Yeah. How has been the journey? Do I begin? It's okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it has been uh, a good journey. <laughs> of course, a long journey. It doesn't uh, you cannot avoid corners. Yeah. You can never have a long road. And, yes. And there is They no are it is smooth all the way. Bumps. Yeah, bumps and what have you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but one thing is Uh, we have trusted God mm. in this journey. Uh, we have trusted our commitment with each other. Mm. Uh, commitment that we are in this together mm. and we are in this for a long haul, mm. not a short term. Mm. Because I think as people enter into marriage, they need to enter with a mindset of long term. Mm. Until death. The way we normally say, until mm. death. So that mindset of until death, mm. long term haul. Mm. Uh, because if you say you have an exit uh, an exit uh, strategy mm. you should be able to enter marriage without an exit strategy mm. is until then mm. uh, as you enter you are there to stay yes uh, but it has been go- uh, good uh, of course when it come to finances is one of the challenges as you bring up the children um, just to mention but a few So uh, how about our uh, finances? Finances is when the finances um uh, is, is literal it you have less finances than the budget. Mm. Uh because as you begin the family mm. you are not used to certain kind of expenses. Mm. Uh, of course like I used to live in a nest mm-hmm. where I used to pay a house of 650 shillings. 
Uh, now when she comes, I go to a house about 4,500. Ah. Because now I have a wife, I need a self contained and all that. Yes. Because we'll get some visitors here and there. Yeah. Uh, so you can imagine all that trip. Mm. The, the salary is the same. Mm. So that is something, and I think uh, uh, through peer pressure and trying to catch up with people, mm. because I believe I was not that level that time. Mm. Because 4,500 was almost half of my salary. Mm. So when I use uh, half of my salary in rent, yeah. and there is transport, there is food, and every other thing, cool things, mm. and uh, there is a child to come almost immediately. Mm. So you find catching up with people and trying to be like so and so mm. also can bring trouble. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's a very good point that you have raised there because even today, mm. you find there are young people out there. Mm. They are trying to live a certain lifestyle yeah. that can be they cannot be able to sustain it. Mm. And some of them you find even now there is this issue of uh, girls looking for mbabas, the mm. sponsors. They are looking for sponsors mm. because there is a certain kind of lifestyle they mm. want to live. Mm. But with their salary, they cannot be able to sustain mm. that. Mm. And I want to speak to young people who are mm. watching us and they are living such a uh, kind of life. I, I would like just to encourage and thank you to Nyash for that. Eh? Mm. Because finance is one of the greatest challenges of marriages. Mm. I'm a pastor and I know why I'm saying that. Mm. It's part, is one of the greatest. Mm. Actually, I think for now it has surpassed sex and yes. other things. Mm. Uh, and issues to do with infidelity. When it comes to finance, it has become a real major problem. Mm. So my, 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 my advice or my counsel Mm-hmm. is that let's be able to live within our means. Mm-hmm. For example, if you are rent, if you are renting a house mm-hmm. and you are renting over 30 percent of your salary is going to rent, mm-hmm. you are out of order. That means if you are earning a hundred thousand and you're in a house which is more than thirty thousand, you are out of order mm-hmm. uh, because because you will not be able to sustain. Mm-hmm. that kind of life and so on and many other things because it will deny you saving it will deny you investment mm-hmm. it will deny you many 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 other things mm-hmm. it will deny you even time in the church yeah uh, because you are strained it's mm-hmm. not that you are you don't want to tie mm-hmm. but you are strained it's not that you don't want to save but you are strained mm-hmm. because you want to catch up to a certain kind of people wow yeah thank you so much so there was the challenge with finances ma'am mm-hmm. any other challenge um, maybe mainly is finance mm. and also bringing up children. No. Uh, there are challenges because, mm. uh, of course, kila mzazi anataka mtoto wake akai vizuri. Yeah. Uh, and uh, kama ni shule, aende shule mzuri. Mm. And uh, with finances, uh, when you don't have finances, yeah. uh, that is not possible. Yeah. And so um, I like the way he, he introduced me into saving. Mm-hmm. Instead of staying in a big house mm-hmm. and it's not yours, mm-hmm. so he told, us, he, uh, he told me, let's go to where a we are comfortable, house. a mm-hmm. small house. Mm-hmm. And actually we moved from that, we were paying 4,500, uh, 4, we went to uh, to a smaller house where we are uh, paying 3000 and so we were able to save because it, we could see now even if we stay here this is not our house and uh, we need to plan how we we'll get our own house yeah. and so we, we agreed and then we moved uh, then uh, another challenge is bringing up children because uh, uh, because also uh, because of finances, because you are not able to treat your children the way you would like to treat them, and uh, it was a challenge, and uh, we overcame it because we, we we agreed this is how we shall bring our children. It's not like another family, so we said this is our family, and this is how we need to treat our children and let them know. Uh, it's not that we don't have. Uh, we, we we will 
we will we we have something to do mm. better than uh, living a life that is luxurious and mm. it's not ours. Yeah. So, but when that kind uh, then when that time come, mm. uh, kila kitu itakuwa. So, so, so we taught mm. them this is how we are mm. and this is how we shall live. Mm. Yes. Mm. Maybe another challenge I would like to mention is the issue to do also with parenting. Yes. And especially when it comes to when the children clock teenage. Mm. Uh, because many parents get shocked mm. when uh, their children turn to teenage. And especially when a boy probably goes to that light of passage, they go to form one, the girl go to form one also. That period, many of us are not prepared. Mm. Because now you have been dealing with an angel. Mm. A Sunday school guy, a Sunday school mm-hmm. girl. Mm-hmm. You just tell them, let's go to church. They, they follow you. All of us. Yes. Go, you go inside the car. They, they go very, very nicely. <laughs> no questions. No argument. No argument. Yes. But now, when it comes to when they reach to teenage, they started. They start becoming somebody else. You wonder, is this my son or is this my daughter? Mm. And uh, that is a challenge that really. And actually that challenge made me even to go into learning counseling. And I had to go to class, even now she has done some counseling. Here. So that we can really understand this development. Mm-hmm. Because many parents have not been able to know the stages of child development mm-hmm. or human development. Mm-hmm. Such that you are kind of uh, you, you are kind of shocked mm-hmm. by by very uh, quick changes happening in somebody, mm-hmm. abrupt changes happening in your children, mm-hmm. abrupt behaviors. Uh, and uh, and uh, you wonder, is this a child that I dedicated in the church? Mm-hmm. So that is also another issue. And uh, I believe that uh, God will give each and every parent who is hearing us mm-hmm. to be able to understand those children. Because if you are able to, you'll be able to negotiate every stage mm-hmm. in, a, in an easier way. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it, it is. It, it will come, but you are able to do it with an understanding way. Mm. Because many a time you find you are fighting your son, mm. you are fighting your daughter, mm. but fighting may not help. Yeah. But if you are able to understand what they are going through, mm. the hormonal changes that are taking place, mm. then you are able to negotiate with them and mm. work with them. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, I know you people are in ministry. And uh, mm-hmm. even by the time you're dating and getting married, you you are serving. But but you at what point do you realize that you have a calling of God now that now that you can become pastors? Mm-hmm. Maybe I can begin. Yes. That, uh, one is um, even when I got saved, there was that impression in my heart that. Um, I did not know how it will happen, mm. but I knew I am called to do this. I'm called to minister mm. to the people. I never knew how it will happen. Uh, I could see myself, like I used to live around Makongeni, Nairobi. I used to see myself preaching in Kamkoji. Now, one of these days, I will go to Kamkoji to preach. Amen. I will actually, so I could see myself doing that kind of work and having the passion of the source passion of people getting saved mm. and living right with God. Uh, but now, passing through many other stages in the church, hospital, hospital visitation, choir, many other places, evangelism, uh, we were sent by our bishop to Missing to Gachia because that's where we used to live. After I married, we relocated to Gachia. Mm. So we founded a fellowship and I became the chairman of the fellowship. And somehow we went from one stage to the other and it grew. People came, all that. And later on, Bishop Trimissing gave us a pastor because we told him we want a church in the church. We will not, it is good that we don't always come to the one church. It's really, it's far, you know. And there were quite a number of brethren who were there. So we were given uh, Reverend James Lombe, who we started now working closely because had being the chairman of the fellowship, mm-hmm. he made me his deputy. Ah. Uh, he saw the he saw the passion I have, the love of the work of God. Mm-hmm. One thing led to another. I 
came an associate pastor mm-hmm. and the rest as they say is history wow yeah. uh, ma'am why you into this thing of ministry okay personally i i loved serving god and uh, as i told you i was a singer and i used to sing in that choir mm-hmm. and uh, it's like i was I was comfortable in, in that service because uh, I, I think I, I had a problem with <laughs> privacy. I, I wanted to, uh, my family, to live a private life. Yeah, private life. And, and pastors uh, don't have private life. Yes, you believe so. <laughs> so I, I wanted us to serve together uh, in that ministry of singing. Not in pastor. Uh, but not mm. in pastor uh-huh. and uh, when he became a pastor then I said wow hapa kunaenda gaje hapa ni siku kwa na expect kukua hivyo lakini because god has seen it uh, that we are able to serve in this uh, in that position mm-hmm. then uh, uh, we agreed mm-hmm. and um, we served God in Gashir. Uh, he was assistant pastor for seven years. Mm-hmm. Then when we came, uh, uh, we live at Kahawaskari. Um, now traveling with children became an issue. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was there were brethren here who we were ministering with uh, at Gashir. They moved uh, earlier. Uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, we started the fellowship, mm. then the fellowship at our house. Uh, oh, yes, wow. we started the fellowship. Now in Kawasukari. In Kawasukari, mm-hmm. they used to come uh, in Kawasukari, and also we used to join them in, uh, at Theta. And uh, the, the fellowship grew. Uh, we settled at, uh, at a school called High Hall. Mm. That's where, where we began the church. Mm. And uh, the rest is history. Uh, yes, okay. after that we went to now where we are, mm-hmm. in, uh, where we are in church. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was a long journey, mm-hmm. and uh, we enjoyed every part of it. Mm-hmm. We have seen it grow, mm-hmm. and uh, we thank God for this far. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Reverend, mm-hmm. uh, when you're coming now to start the church uh, here in Ruru. Mm-hmm. Are you full-time minister or you are working? Thank you for that. <laughs> I When I came to Iro, because we came to Iro at 207. Yeah. 207. Um, of course, we heard clearly from God because it's always good to hear clearly from God <laughs> where you are being sent and what you are being sent to do. <laughs> The mandate was clear that it shall be a transformation center, transforming the lives of people through the preaching of the gospel. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was still working. Mm-hmm. Uh, because one, um, in 2007, that my first one, who is now married, mm-hmm. was in class five. Ah. In 2007. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is married now. Uh, he was in class five. So. I looked at because again I also don't want to come to do the work and there is no much to do. Mm. We are just beginning, mm. uh, so that's why I give myself time. And I also like hearing from God. Is it time? Mm. Because many a times you may be called today, mm. but it does not mean immediately you go out. Mm. Uh, and I can assure you, Kenyans, when it was clear that. Now I go full time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can tell you what happened many a times, uh, and I can just probably say what happened mm-hmm. in a short one. Okay. Uh, what happened is I went on leave and I went to a mountain, a prayer mountain, and I told her, mm-hmm. I feel because God talks a certain language, uh, God talks, illuminates your heart with His light, mm-hmm. and He is able to talk a certain language which is so clear. Mm-hmm. So when I went to the prayer mountain, uh, I was asking God to give me direction. And he was clear that it is time to move mm-hmm. to full time. Mm-hmm. So what happened is, uh, in that prayer mountain, do you know what happened? Mm-hmm. I forgot all the passwords 
in the bank there are many many passwords <laughs> i forgot and there are many systems in the bank i forgot all the passwords i had about five to seven passwords and i used to go on leave previously and i could remember all the passwords mm-hmm. but right now and and also i lacked i lacked the the heart the the passion to work there I, yes i'm getting money because mm-hmm. by then i was a bank manager mm-hmm. i'm getting money but i you're felt you're not passionate about your work passion is not there mm-hmm. as i I'm, i'm just pushing myself every morning mm-hmm. and i told her of course it was not easy there mm-hmm. are all benefits mm-hmm. you was are you sure it is the time mm-hmm. so by then you are a, a bank manager yes and you resigned yes i had to share even with my ch- my children that this is what is happening <laughs> and i need now to move on to to be full time so you must involve your family many a times men you may decide it is true the lord has clearly told you but it's good to have harmony in the family yeah. uh, because even Ad, uh, abraham i believe he was able to share with sarah that god is saying let's move out of this place mm. uh, so that we, we can move together so that harmony we were able to build and the rest is history wow So, uh, this time uh, mom is also working yes i do business mm-hmm. and a shop mm-hmm. yes but uh, we had a general shop okay and uh, yes we were doing business and so for you you were in agreement it's okay let's go resign no. <laughs> did you do some calculations you know as women tunafanyaga mnafanyaga mahesabu una resign hii kazi hii kanisa itaanza kukulipa eh ilikuwa hivyo wangu kidogo uh, because it was not easy i could see tunaenda gaida hospitali tunataka lakini sasa mtoto akigonjeka ndampeleka wapi tunaanza <laughs> kwenda dispensary za government <laughs> yes uh, and again i could imagine our children are going to form one mm. how they pesa ya school fees atakuwa wapi so hizo ma questions zote nikamleta nikamwambia si twende yetu na kazi <laughs> And, and again Mungu alikuwa amenena na nikamwambia if God has mm-hmm. amesema mm-hmm. he will provide and uh, that settled uh, because i knew when God calls you he will provide like mm-hmm. how he provided to Abraham uh, when he went to sacrifice his son he provided mm-hmm. so God is able to provide our needs mm-hmm according to his riches and glory and from that time uh, uh, we have never had an issue of going to the hospital or lacking wow. food god somehow i said i don't know who you or is that a watch and is it settled mm-hmm. and uh, the lord has been good watoto wamesoma wamemaliza mm-hmm. and uh, the lord has has worked with us and he has provided to us Oh. We, we cannot regret mm-hmm. why uh, he went to full time ministry mm-hmm. uh, because when god calls he provides wow. and uh, this father the lord has been good amen yes amen maybe as we are having this conversation now mm-hmm. there is a couple that is watching us mm-hmm. and maybe they are having that fight Mm-hmm. The man is saying the Lord has spoken mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. I resigned. I got into full-time mm-hmm. ministry. But the woman is saying tihoko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to speak to mm-hmm. such a woman mm-hmm. ambaye anaambia bwana yake hauwezi. Mhm. Uh, mimi sijasikia Mungu. Mm-hmm. Speak to that woman. Okay. Uh calling ya calling ya Mungu inakuanga hata wewe anakuonyesha kwamba kwa kweli huu mtu ako sawa sio mdanganyifu you know why women uh, fear is because anaona huyu mtu ako na kasoro ako na vitu wake uh, and so you fear uh, ni Mungu kweli but if you are sure of your husband uh, his character his integrity uh then you you know for sure he will make it because uh ile wale sikuanga nayo uh ni uh, suppose aende tena aanze kuanguka ama 
uh, you know your mom yeah. mm. and uh, uh, those are fears and uh, when you know your man, then you know God has called him, and God is faithful. Mm. The, the Bible says in First Corinthians, uh, one nine, that the Lord who calls you into the fellowship of His Son Jesus Christ, mm. He's faithful. Mm. And when you count God faithful, mm. then you know uh, He He has called you, and He knows the way. Yes, you are to follow the way of His calling. Mm. And uh, personally, I didn't have any doubt about uh, my husband. Mm. I knew if it is God, it is God. Mm. And because he loved God, I, I told God, then let your will be done. Mm. And uh, he, we, have, we have served the Lord faithfully, mm. and uh, we have seen his faithfulness. Mm. Because to them that are faithful, mm. God is faithful. Wow. Yes. Mm. Mm. Rev, mm. how now that you joined full time ministry, mm. how would you balance ministry mm. and family? That's a hard question <laughs> <laughs> because many a times, um, man, men of God are married almost by the ministry. Mm. I know I've not done best in balancing. I don't want to say. I am, I am, that I've succeeded in balancing, uh, but I try. I try my best, especially when my wife needs me or my children needs me. Uh, that need a time like they need me to be in the in school, in school program. Like when they were even in high school, I I'll try to be there and. Uh, of course, in the evening, going early. When there is no service, I, I, I go early. But I can assure you, it is not easy for bal the balancing the way you would like. Mm -hmm. Because probably I would like to give my family more time, but sometimes it's not possible. Because you have the demands, you are being demanded. And some of the things are urgent. Mm -hmm. Some of the things you must attend to them yourself. Uh, but nevertheless, I try <laughs> the level best. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mom, how do you balance family and ministry? Yes, it's not easy, yeah. but uh, the grace is sufficient. We yeah. say the grace is sufficient because uh, you know who has called you, and you have to serve him, you have to be faithful to him. And, and again, you have your children whom uh, God has given you and you have to take care of them. So balancing is, uh, it becomes quite a challenge because uh, mm. so you have to make your children understand yeah. uh, this, the, you, your dad is a pastor. Mm. And uh, this is how you're going to live. Akito, an itika, and I'm a sub and a rudy. So, so Ninim Jue, Ninu, a total or chungaji, or total or chungaji, either a meito, twendezote, a macamam tender numbani, now you are cubwa, so some kurudi numbani, a king there before you used to go, all of us, maybe Miss Chan and Diana back in numbani. And uh, it was not easy, but God gives the grace. Mm -hmm. Maybe to add on that, is that one, at least we make sure we eat dinner together. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one thing we do. Whenever there is free time to pray ball, football with uh, my young people, uh -huh. we pray ball. Probably we have some sugar cane we can, we can eat together. Mm -hmm. We try to board as much as possible. But that which my wife Nancy has said is also to keep them aware and understand the kind of calling you are in uh, so that they are also with you. They don't find that you have neglected them. Yeah. But they will see as part of what you are achieving also as a family. Yeah. And that is why maybe if you allow me, I would like to say maybe you are a Christian, you are a church member in a certain congregation. 
it's good also to understand the kind of sacrifices that pastor and his family do. Because like now, me, I must do two services. But members will come, one, one service, they, they go. go. Mm-hmm. They can go take their children to swimming. Mm-hmm. They can take their children uh, elsewhere, maybe mm-hmm. to KFC and eat uh, whatever mm-hmm. is eaten there. Mm-hmm. But my children are waiting for me yeah. until I finish all the course, even mm-hmm. until probably I do one or two counseling which are urgent. Mm-hmm. Although I don't encourage Sunday counseling. Mm-hmm. But they are urgent issues, probably somebody say no. I need prayers. I need you to hear this. Mm-hmm. And you see all that kind of a thing. And uh, many a times we can talk ill of the pastor's children. Mm-hmm. I would like just to uh, request and uh, and be able to request if you are somewhere in the church, please support pastor's mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. Support a daughter of the pastor. Mm-hmm. Uh, support the son. They go through a lot. Yeah. They are denied their parents because of ministry. Mm. So it is good to understand them and be able to support them and encourage them. Mm. Yes. Uh, but, but and I also it is important to note that uh, when pastors' kids mm. are out there, they are not pastors themselves. Mm. Mm. Very it true. is their parents who yes. are pastors, yes. mm. and so they need to. The way the other kids they behave, yeah. mm-hmm. let us allow them to be. Don't put a standard. Yes. Out there. yes. That, hey, this is a bishop's son. Yes. No, 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 yeah. no. He's a kid just like exactly. your kid, exactly. and so let us not start uh, calling uh, our uh, the pa- we call them uh, PKs, PKs mm-hmm. yes. the pastor's kids mm-hmm. names because uh, see, they are behaving in a certain yeah. manner because and they, they, get they are not pressure. pastors. Mm-hmm. And they get out of pressure. Yes, they are not pastors. Yes, they are not. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. um, as as you wind up, I, I want you to speak to. First, I, I know you've been married for 21, 28 years. years. That's 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 quite a that's quite a years, eh? Mm-hmm. And so I want you to speak to young couples first, mm-hmm. people who are coming up, and so maybe they are going some through issues, and they are feeling like, ah, this is not doable. Ah, to a journey history, this is not doable. I think such couple, the young couples, about our same, they have given up. And I want you to assure them mm. that it is workable. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one is I would like to request the young couples, maybe you are one or five or even ten years, because there are challenges at every stage. Mm. Every stage has its own challenges. I would like to request you one major thing is that whatever you are going through, go it through together. Wow. Whatever you are going through, go going through together. <laughs> because let the wife, if your wife, let the husband understand the situation, where you are, the stage where you are. If maybe you have just gotten a big loan and your salary is almost being chopped, almost the whole of it. You know, whenever you go the issues together, mm. Bible says how good and present for brethren to dwell together in unity. Mm. It talks about the anointing. Mm. When people go through issues together, it becomes easier. Uh-huh. The problem is when everyone is carrying their own issue. Mm. And uh, you come to just abruptly to explain about an issue which has taken long. Mm. It is, has become even septic. Mm. And uh, when you are reporting it now, it is, has run out of hand. Mm. So me, that is one thing we have learned. We share and work together yeah. in many major issues and stages of our life. Mm-hmm. Whether it is parenting, we talk openly mm-hmm. about our children. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether it is saving, investing mm-hmm. in anything, mm-hmm. ministry work, mm-hmm. we share all the relevant details. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speak to your couples. I want you to speak, especially to the ladies. Mm. Oh, do you want to give up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's good, as uh, my husband has said. Uh, one, you share all things. Um, another thing is uh, you respect your husband. Mm. Uh, uh, you, uh, the, how the Bible says in uh, Ephesians 5, uh, that a wife submit 
and the husband love. Mm -hmm. Those principles, when you follow them, you you'll be able to make it because marriage is a journey and every journey has a, a challenge. Mm -hmm. And those challenges you're able to overcome when you you are in your position, mm -hmm. submitting and the one other one loving. And, and those challenges come share. It's equally to moja and abeba mzivo. Kama nilon, ye, wacha aripe. You don't support one another. One, uh, we have learned to support one another. And for example, ata izi mambo zingine, kama anapenda mpira, na mimi, ninajisikia tu wacha ni msupport, tu watch ball mpaka ishe. Ata kama utaki. Ata kama. Thank you very much. Na ninamuambia, ye, ye, ni wa... Manchester na mimi ni Arsenal. So uh, <laughs> ndio kuwe na hiyo competition. Sasa tuta make sure tutamaliza hiyo ball pamoja. Uh -huh. Kama mimi napenda business ana make sure naenda mapema na ananichukulia vitu tunapeleka kwa duka. So it's like hakuna kazi ya mtu mmoja. Mm. Hii kitu tuko pamoja kusaidiana, ku support one another when he became a pastor mm -hmm. mimi ni kumsupport sasa bibi ya pastor anakaanga namna gani mm -hmm. so uh, i make sure uh, kila kitu yake iko sawa sasa mm -hmm. hata hata sema ati bibi alimpatia makelele actually hata kama niko na kitu ambao mm -hmm. ina maybe imenikwaza kidogo mm -hmm. na make sure enda uhubiri jioni tutaongea no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> tutaset hii kitu mm -hmm. and again uh, one thing about him he does not keep uh, uh, makosa mm -hmm. ati ile uh, unajua kuna una pile una pile mpaka saa zile itabust itakuwa kitu ingine mm -hmm. but now we share kwa nini ulifanya hivi ah mm. uh, share muna agree nilifanya hivi kwa sababu nilikuwa nime nime mnapatiana ni sababu ni kwa nini hii kitu ilifanyika mm. and uh, inakuwa ni, ni kitu yenye wote wawili mm. watoto wakiwakosea una mm. make sure uh, mmoja anakuwa mkali mwingine anakuwa soft mm. such that you are able uwa kichapa na wewe mwenye na wewe ni wakwenda kupone kuponya hizo uh, vidonda mm. namwambia kwa nini litendeka hivi mm. na unajua lakini unataka kujua kwa nini litendeka sasa akikuelezea mnakuja unaongea pamoja mnaweza leo watoto pamoja mm. isikuwe ati huu ni mzuri huu ni mbaya hapana mm. inakuwa nyote wazazi mko kitu kimoja na when the, the children wanaona mko kitu kimoja uh, uh, hawata wachezea mm. utajua mm. uh, wazazi wanakuanga kitu kimoja mm. so for you the young couple you need to submit the wife you have to submit and the husband love your wife and uh, uh, the bible say that we sh you share all things in common kusikwe mm. kitu ya mtu na Ati mi naenda na nua ploti na mzee hajui na taa kumsurprise hapana hiyo ploti wacha ianze tumikiwa pamoja na mkiendelea hivyo na kuomba pamoja make sure munaomba pamoja munafanya vitu pamoja na hakuna mtu atakuja aingilie kwa sababu anaona ile ile mmeshikana hakuna hakuna kuingiliwa so hata wazazi kama ni kuwapatia mnawapatia pamoja mzazi asije akajua ati uh, mwenzako asikuje akasema oh kuu unapelekanga pesa nyumbani na huyo hajui so uh, kama ni mama yangu anampatia kama ni mama yake nampatia so inakuwa iko wazi na na he love mm -hmm. loving each other mm -hmm. love covers the multitude of sin mm -hmm. forgiving each other mm -hmm. makosa kidogo kidogo itatokelezea mm -hmm. but forgive each other na ujue uh wakikuwa na semanga uh decay and what we work so and you are supposed to tell yourself that is in bue itanyolewa huku huku usitoki Yes. So and uh, once you, your mind is set on that this is the man nitakuwa na yeye uh, inakuwa ta makosa ikikuja you are able to forgive each other. Yes. yes. And uh, when you trust in the Lord and serve the Lord together. Mm -hmm. uh, so hakuna mimi nafanya 
hivi na mwingine anafanya hivi when it comes to the service of God serve the Lord together mm-hmm. uh, wacha mtu ajue i'm going through this because of my service ndio mweze kuomba pamoja hey, god bless you Amen. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want you to give us your parting shot mm-hmm. because that I'm, I'm told our time is up. Yes. Parting shot. My parting shot is one marriage works. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a design of God. It's designed by God. It is kept by God. Mm-hmm. And uh, therefore, if you plant your marriage and your relationship into God, it works because the environment of God is where marriage works. Yes. You may have an environment of money and many, many other earthly things, things that looks good into this world, but minus God, mm-hmm. marriage cannot work. Yes. But it works in an environment mm-hmm. where God is honored, where God is worshipped. Amen. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Ma, your button shot? My parting shot is that marriage is good, it works, and um, it's enjoyable, mm-hmm. uh, especially when you love each other. Mm-hmm. So uh, we, uh, my parting shot is love one another mm-hmm. and be support one another uh, in the valleys, in the... Uh, uh, in the mountains be together wow. and uh, whatever you're going through uh, be together Amen. and uh, let nothing separate you let no one comes in between you and your husband mnamweka nje mnaseto mambo yenu pamoja marriage is sweet yes. and uh, we have enjoyed for those 28 years mm-hmm. and if I were to get married again I would still learn to my husband wow because uh, we we, we love each other so wow yes. wonderful yes. and how because of that mm-hmm. I want to give you a chance mm-hmm. This one. Yes. Kwa sababu ya hiyo hata umesema ukiambiwa kirudiwe bado ni yeye. Kirudiwe. Nataka nataka kuwapatia at least each a minute and I want you to speak something that will come deep within your heart to her and you speak to him for a minute. Then come moja moja moja. Yes. <laughs> yes sir. Uh, and I say I love you. Mm-hmm. As you have confessed, if I were to do it again, I would do it with you. I've loved doing life together with you. Mm-hmm. I also know the many sacrifices you have done for our family, and I don't take you for granted. And I don't want to become familiar with you. God bless you and keep you many years to be enjoyed together. Mm-hmm. Amen. Wow. Wow. Uh, Stanley, mm. I love you so much, mm. and uh, uh, if I were to get married again, mm. I'll do it with you. Mm. You've been uh, a good husband, a caring husband, mm. and a loving husband, mm. always supporting me mm. in my weaknesses. You always pray for me, mm. and uh, I'll be the best wife mm. on earth mm. and we shall live together in harmony mm. may god bless you mm. may god prosper you mm. uh, may god give you a long life mm. and may he satisfy all your needs Amen. i'll be the best wife to you mm. god bless you. thank you wow what an assurance hey mm. if you're out there have you received such an assurance from your partner if you have not mm. what is making you not to give up mm. that assurance mm. so thank you so much for coming okay. you are an you are an icon and example mm. to couples out there and i want to appreciate you mm. then for accepting to come and be with us on this show and i believe that there's someone who will learn something mm. from this show mm. and through your uh 
through your love mm. story, mm. there is a marriage mm. that will be healed. That is my prayer. Mm. So mm. thank you so much for coming. Mm. And the Lord bless you very much. Mm. And as you go back, say hi to your children. Mm. And mm. very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Wow. Love is a beautiful thing. And so you can love that partner. You have heard the story of the Ngures. They have gone through challenges together. And there's something Rev have said that for you to grow in that marriage, you need to work together. You know, the challenges that you're facing do not face that challenge alone. Go together, work together. That challenge, share it with your spouse mm -hmm. and you grow together and you'll be able to overcome. Thank you so much for joining in and listening to that powerful love story. My name is Willy Kinyash and this is Couples Week Show. This is where we write down our love when we are alive for we don't want our love suit to be read when we are six feet under. And that is why the Ngures, they had to come and share their love journey with us. Thank you so much and see you on Friday. God bless you. God bless you.